What's going on everyone? Tim from Tier Fun Orbital. So today's video is a long time coming. Uh, this is an install that I completed on a custom Tier Fun Orbital speeder. Uh, this is called the Rev 3 Mark II. It's a long name, I know. Um, but uh, the reason I say this is a long time coming is because the, the customer uh, for this hilt has been waiting a long time. Uh, I mean, uh, we're talking almost nearly six months. Uh, this customer has been waiting for this hilt, uh, and that is my own fault, right? So when I opened up slots again for this particular hilt, um, very shortly after the custom saber shop uh, closed all com uh, all custom parts orders through their website. And this particular hilt has a lot of custom machine parts that I get from the custom saber shop. So we were in a little bit of a holding pattern waiting for these parts. Uh, they finally came in, oh uh, God, almost a month ago. Um, and I finally got the hilt completed last week, right? So the customer has been very, very patient. I am always very grateful and appreciative for patient people. Um, you know, these hilts are not cheap. So I fully, fully empathize and understand uh, the frustration uh, that some people have when, you know, their hilts do not arrive in the allotted time frame, right? So anyhow, I'm not gonna come into Fusion and talk about this chassis. I did do something a little bit different with this chassis, however, uh, it was printed in MJF nylon. Uh, I've been doing this a lot more with my chassis. I'm happy with the amount, with the level of detail that I get with uh, MJF through Craft Cloud. For this particular build, the chassis is very thin. Uh, so doing it in MJF is, is so great because it's a lot more uh, strong, like strong. Uh, it's less susceptible to breakage and impact. So I'm really, really happy with how this one came out, okay? So with all of that out of the way, let's come up top and talk about how to use this guy. All right, so here it is. This is the Rev, Tearphone Orbital Rev3 Mark two, all right? So a lot, a lot going on with this hilt. Right off the bat, I wanna talk about the machined parts, right? So I've done a, cr a custom grip uh, that the guys over at the Custom Saber Shop have obliged and created or made for me, right? So we do have a crystal reveal in this chassis and I wanted to get that viewable through the grip. So there are some windows in the grip where you can see your crystal, okay? This upper claw section is also custom. All this is is just, uh, you know, the claw holder from Custom Saber Shop stacked. So it's just two, two lengths in width or, or however. Um, uh, and I also had them machine a window into that as well because this is a, a 2020 NeoPixel strip that is in here. All right. Let's talk about the hilt a little bit, right? Pommel uh, is also from the Custom Saber Shop. However, I did add my own Greebly and Pommel cap at the bottom. There is some brass mesh here. This buckle is from a 1980s era ski boot. Um, I'm finding it harder and harder to find these. Uh, luckily, I, I found a pair uh, a while ago. Uh, each pair comes with uh, three buckles each, or uh, six buckles for the pair. Uh, so I've got a couple more of these <laughs> to, to be able to do more builds. But yeah, these are hard hard to source now, right? Uh, I kept the spring uh, in, in the buckle so we get a nice you know tactile buckle action there. I did create a brass nameplate for this as well. This just says Tearphone Orbital and it has been uh, attached with some hex screws. These are threaded in place. Buckle is also threaded in place as well, okay? Upper claw section, so we've got some brass accents in here. This is a custom um, rotary switch for your main. And then around the side here, this is a, your aux switch is one of my custom brass momentary switches as well. Steel baffling up top that has been heat stained and some other brass rods, right? Really, really cool looking hilt. So to get at your chassis, you wanna unthread your grip. So here is the chassis. This has been done in MJF nylon. It is nice and sturdy. Real quartz crystal in the crystal chamber that is lit with two neopixels on top and bottom. Around back, here is our profi board. 
This is a 16 650 battery setup. This is another thing that I changed recently uh, just because this hilt is so, or the chassis is so thin to give us a little bit extra room. This is a 16 650 battery. So to the customer, I will be including this uh, with your build. I'll put this in the box with the hilt, right? Kill switch is at the bottom. And this is a uh, circular PCB that makes a connection to the speaker in the pommel. So there is a speaker pod in this build as well. Speaker lives in the pommel, right? So there's our speaker pod. That just kind of stays in there, okay? The reason I did that is because once you get your battery in, you can easily turn on and off the hilt uh, through the kill switch at the bottom. So if you are looking at your kill switch, right? To the right is on, to the left is off, okay? So once you get your battery in and you turn your kill switch on, thread that pommel in place until it stops, and you're ready to go. I guess I didn't put twist activator on this. So there is that lit NeoPixel strip. I did create a custom lens that goes above that. It just says warning in R -Besh. And there is our crystal that's viewable through the grip. I did put twist activate on this, right? Let's come down to the bottom. So one of the things I really like about this hilt is the switch. Let's see if I can get it on camera. Yeah. And there is that crystal chamber through the grip. All right, let's put a blade in it. Okay, so this is a one inch blade blade holder. Just take your blade, rest it on those PCB pens. There is a black set screw just in between the steel baffling here that serves as your blade retention. So tighten that and you're ready to go. I tried to put different animations in that uh, 2020 st strip for each font. Man. I am no Jedi. I forgot how good feeling, good of a feeling hilt this is. I really love that MHS V2 grip. Uh, it's just the perfect uh, thickness in my opinion, right? So that's it, right? A nice quick rundown on the Tierfon Orbital Rev 3 Mark II. Again, to the customer, thank you very, very much for your patience. I know this one was a long wait, uh, but I'm happy it is finally complete. This will be going in the mail to you uh, either on Tuesday or Wednesday at the very latest, right? So anyhow, if anyone has any questions about this particular hilt, uh, slots for this are back open on my website. Um, if anyone has any questions, please do not be a stranger. And with that being said, may the force be with you always. Have a good one, everybody.